The largest witch trial in the region took place in Dumfries in 1659. In 1658, the Kirk Session of Dumfries introduced a new resolution. It required ministers to ask from the pulpit on Sunday for people to come forward with evidence of parishioners practising the heinous and abominable sin of witchcraft. The next week, after a hasty meeting of the Kirk elders, this was amended to stress that false accusations would be visited with the severest discipline of the Kirk. In spite of this slight change of heart, the resolution seems to have generated a great deal of evidence against a large number of women. On the 2nd of April 1659, a trial of 10 women accused of witchcraft began in Dumfries. The trial continued until the 5th of April. One of the women, Helen Tate, was found not to have been clearly proven a witch. Even so, the court required £50 of security from her and banished her from Dumfries Parish. The other nine women were convicted and sentenced to death. The court also ordered that the possessions of Helen Moorhead be seized for the Crown by the Sheriff of Nithsdale. Just before the execution, the Dumfries Presbytery assigned eight clergymen to confer with the accused women up, up to their execution. On Sunday, the 13th of April, 1659, Agnes Cummins, Janet McGowan, Jean Thompson, Margaret Clark, Janet McKendrick, Agnes Clark, Janet Corson, Helen Muirhead and Janet Callan were taken to the White Sands for their execution. Between two and four in the afternoon, all nine women were tied to the stakes, strangled and then burned in front of a large crowd of locals.